Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby thought to have died in the fire has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Setteth enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, wow, thanks. Mm. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Huh? Yep. Have you ever cried, Professor? 
It's hard to imagine you crying. Thanks for the tea. I hope you invite me again. My room works better for me, but I am willing to compromise for today. Thank you. Delicious. What? <laughs> It was my own choice to leave behind my noble title and holdings. I'll not be going back. <laughs> we finally got a perfect tea time, and Something it's with... with my monocle. It is a custom-made piece, yet still problematic sometimes. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things to get right. Well, then. Yeah. Indeed. He's blushing. Well, Ladies, <laughs> if anyone wants a piece, he's single and he's not ready to mingle unless you have a crest, in which case he would like to be all over you. <laughs> yeah, let's just put it that way. Delicious. Meanwhile, he says, this is delicious. <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful time, Professor. We struck out with Hilda. We got a perfect on Hanneman, so this is great. Yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, Hanneman gets charm, as if it's going to make his crest research any better. On that note, though, hey everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses, Black Eagle Root. And last episode, we came back from the dead, essentially, and we came out with a brand new haircut. Plus, what a strange feeling. We got a new class on our hand. Welcome to the Enlightened One. This is one of a special class in which is only, well, exclusive to us, but there are others like it. We'll get to that when we get to it. However, that means as you as you saw, we immediately got kicked out of our horse class. You do have the option to go back should you want should you want to finish up. However, overall, I would say the Enlightened One is one of the best classes in the game regarding you. It's a plus all round, so you never know. But it would seem like uh, one, uh, one of our students is able to become the first in their master class. Mm-hmm. Since Ingrid has come so far, yeah, why not? Because they have not requested the required level. Ah, ah, it's because she's, st is she still in advanced class? Weird. Oh well. Mm. Ooh, we'll pick that up. That might be a detail in which I might be forgetting. It's been it's been a while since we have uh, recorded, so just bear with us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, though, let's just have a look, seeing who else who else can be a certificate certificate S certified. You get the point. Yes, yes. <laughs> as you can see, me me English great oh good. <laughs> Anyway, though, now let's have a look at who can go where. Dorothea. Oh, no, wait. She's still dancing the night away. So I'll give her that. Mm 
Uh, Sylvain, not gonna do anything with you guys yet. Mercy, you are completed with all of your tasks. Now here's where the fun begins. You I you either have a boost in but you don't have any advanced skills. Boo! Let me have a look, see. And next can do anything. So Ingrid's level twenty five. What level do you have to be for master class? Probably thirty, if I had to hazard a guess. Cause Take us for example. We're, yeah, 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 sure. It's got to be level. That's a detail I was, I was missing. You've got to be level thirty, and this is one of the things in which you cannot jumpstart regarding you and New Game Plus. You have to fight your way up. You can't use your renown points to boost either yours or anyone else's level, because even the game is gonna say, "Nah, you're taking the piss. Just a little, a little, a little bit too, too much there," mm -hmm. which I can kind of get. Anyway though, just give us a quick check, we are just going to go see who can le level up where, and then move on with our lives. Know what? Yeah, as always, I'm going to have Mercy focus on why magic, so it's not a 100% chance, but can Mercy do it? I believe in you, Mercy. And my faith, ironically, was paid in kind. Yes! <laughs> we have our first bishop on, on the team. Is it Mariana Bishop? So Remember how I said it's been a while? <laughs> yep, it's been it's been a hard minute. Try <laughs> try try a few weeks. <laughs> maybe. Ish. Either way though guys, we are gonna be spending the majority of today doing uh well just more uh, just more non unnecessary stuff. However, there is a particular thing in which I want to bring up right now. Oh yeah, that is another thing I want to bring up. And honey, for me personally, I want to see how you react to that. Hmm. So just give me a moment. However though, as we go along, not to give spoilers or anything else like that, but coming up this month is going to be very, very crucial in one way or another. If, unlike us, you have not recruited everyone who you possibly can, I would try and do so now. You're going to be pressed for time in the next coming month, give, give, uh, give or take. So, if you're running on New Game Plus and you have refused to use the Renown Points like, uh, like we have, I pretty much use that now. Also, this is not something which I have said normally, but just have a think about the characters in which you are spending time with. Especially on the staff side. Who do you like? Who do you don't like? Who do you have a good rapport with? Who do you trust? Who do you not trust? Hmm. Ah, it is you. I am sorry, but I have a lot on my mind. I would prefer to be alone right now. I do not know why I talked like that, but haha. -ha. <laughs> but yeah, safe to say it's gonna be a tumultuous time. Well. You're gonna be faced with decisions. Captain. Oh, Professor, how long have you been standing there? I didn't see you. I was just sorting through Captain Gerald's belongings. I haven't made much progress. I keep finding things that bring back memories. Clearing out this room of his belongings again, it's... It's not easy. However, though, there is one thing in which you can do. Oh, Professor. Anything I can help you with, I will do whatever I can to serve you. Excellent. Leave it to me. No matter how small the task is, I vowed to Gerald I would help you. You get to recruit oh, Alois. He is one. Of, he is one of the final ones in which you can get on a bog standard playthrough. In a couple of episodes' time, you'll see what I mean. But for now, have a think. You never know. Mm-hmm. 
But anyway though, let us talk about uh, the month in which we have and what we um, and what we experienced la last episode. I'm gonna be honest, as cool as it was to have the whole map and the whole whole plot play out, I do kind of feel like Kronia was a bit wasted. Yeah. <laughs> I would have really loved if she stuck around for a month or two to be like, ooh, I'm going to be, you know, a recur a recurring antagonist. Like, I killed your dad. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. <laughs> Except she's like, hello there. I'm not the boss. I'm not a big bad guy. In fact, the people who I work for kill me off in one month. <laughs> I was worth it. Sometimes. I find myself thinking I should leave Garrick Mock and return to my home, where I should have been all alone. Ignore me. I'm sorry. It's a silly thing. An old man's ramblings and nothing more. I hear that Lady Rhea will accompany you for this month's task. She's the pillar that supports the hearts of Fodlan's people. Her safety is paramount. I hope there are no complications. I am not foreshadowing in any way whatsoever. <laughs> I'm sure everything you say will go absolutely swimmingly. Without a problem. No, oh, no, though. I just crying. I just feel like she could have she could have been utilized a bit more, but hey ho. I would say this. Leave the holy tomb for last, if I may ask. Mm-hmm. Because I, I very much would like to see your reaction to, to this. No, no, I mean, do you have, I mean, do you have any thoughts on that? On what? On the uh, on last month, and you know how it all ended and what went down regard regarding that plot. Well, in the Blue Lions, let's play. Solon really never got any more context apart from that one scene. So, I'll we'll just have to see how this plays out. Yeah. I mean, I mean, let's face it. Intelligent systems and in some cases Nintendo knew that that particular cutscene was significant because it got reused for Byleth's um, announcement in Smash Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> so, they knew that that time of the month and here's the thing. <laughs> it even hurts more because even though that scene technically gets reused, Kronya is nowhere to be seen in that scene. Yeah. <laughs> so I just feel like, what was the point of Kronya? They could have just had. What? What was the point of the swerve at all? No, oh, no. It's just very, very weird. There's no one I'd rather eat with than the professor and Aloise. Here, here. Hmm. This old chair keeps creaking. I fear it's on its last legs. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that is a uh, that is a another unique dialogue aspect, and don't know why. Just so cute. Mm-hmm. That looks epic. My brother used to scold me. Great! <laughs> Lovely! <laughs> Way to bring down the conversation play flame. It's like, oh my god, this food is delicious. It's also my brother beat me. Oh, I love eating delicious. It's like what? <laughs> huh? It's like I'm sorry, but was there like a time and a place and a a transition to that conversation? <laughs> I don't think there was. I would be liking that. Somehow everything. <laughs> Somehow everything. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow everything. <laughs> just say that. Just say that to someone. <laughs> Somehow everything. <laughs> hello, random. Hello, random strange. Australia, somehow, everything. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye.
<laughs> it sounds like something I personally would do. And also, uh, just just to give a slight spoiler away, if you want everyone that you could possibly get, focus on axe and charm at least of right now. Mm -hmm. It'll help you in the long run, I swear. Because because again, you're gonna be tied for time. Anyway, though, we we can just continue to just walk around, or would you want to call the episode here? Mm, might do a support or two. Let's do it. Because trust me, we have a whole lot of supports to go through. Yeah. Because everyone wants to bond in some shape group or another. Oh god, this. Ah, Marianne. Praying to the goddess? Yes, I am. Excellent. So persistent in your devotion. I quite admire that about you. Oh, no. It's not like that. No need for false modesty. I hardly know anyone with more piety. I need to be going. Wait a moment. Oh, um, yes? Uh, did you need something? I have a suggestion. I have been meaning to tell you about it for a while. Have you ever considered projecting more confidence? Your every word is laden with pessimism and devoid of enthusiasm. To gain the trust of commoners, you must appear self-assured at all times. I have no need to earn the trust of the common people as a novel. All I want is to live a quiet life and to not be a bother to anyone. I dare not hope for anything beyond that. But you are the only daughter of the esteemed Margrave Edmund. Regardless of what you hope for, you must concede that you have inherited certain responsibilities by virtue of your birth. If that's the case, then I don't care to be a responsible person. Farewell. One would think she does not wish to be a noble. But who would want something like that? <laughs> I know I would, because oh. uh, I'm Ferdinand von Fuller myself. <laughs> huh. I guess taking them all up in one go is a bad idea. Annette? Are you okay with all those boxes? Linhart! Hi! I'm so glad you're here. I don't know if I'll be able to handle all these. I thought I may as well get it over with, so I decided to carry them all at once. Big mistake. Smart thinking. Do it all at once. That's what they say, right? Work smart, not hard. I think you've got it from here, so I'm off to take a nap. Good luck. But maybe you could help. Nope. Gone. <laughs> It's fine. It is fine. Just a little further to my quarters. I've got this. I'll just... Just... Ah! Huh? They didn't fall. That was almost pretty bad. Uh, Linhart! I thought you had an important nap to get to. I'd call it insomnia, but I suppose it was really just a guilty conscience. I came to see if you needed help. And, sure enough, here you are, about to tip all the boxes on the floor. Thanks. Though it may have been best if you had just chipped in from the start. Huh? But it was your job. Why would I step in? You clearly had things handled. Then why help me at all? If the boxes had fallen just now, everyone would have had to help tidy them up anyway. If anything broke, more boxes would need to be carried. And if all of that came to pass, then there'd be noise and more noise and no chance of my taking a nap. Huh. But if you had helped me from the start, there would have been no danger of anything being dropped at all. Correct. But there was no danger yet, and so there was no need for my help. So I left you to it. Try carrying one box at a time instead of straining to do it all at once. Work smart, not hard, as they say. All right, well, I think you've got it from here, so I'm off. Good luck. <laughs> After all that, he's not gonna help me. <laughs> Welcome to the Blackie Fiegel House, where, where no one likes Linhart's work ethic. Yeah. Because <laughs> my god. These ones look good. I probably shouldn't pick them, though. Ah, Marianne. 
Harvesting the crops? Oh, yes, Linhart. Um, I found which vegetables are ripe and ready, but would you mind picking them for me? Ah, uh, see, you've mistaken me for someone who sticks his hands in the dirt. I'm just afraid that if I touch them, well... Oh, I see. You're afraid everyone who eats them will suffer bad luck. Yes, it's true. I wouldn't want anyone else to suffer because of me. Marianne, that's simply not the way the world works. You see... Oh, forget it. Tell me which ones to pick. Thank you so much, Linhart. <sighs> Happy to help, but I'm beat. You'll have to carry them yourself, so take them straight in, okay? Um, okay. Oh, actually, before I go, do you mind if I ask you a question? I've been thinking. Isn't it more the case your crest brings happiness rather than bad luck? Happiness? I don't understand. Yes, happiness. Because your crest is so rare. It excites my mind and, well, if not for your crest, we might never have met. And I feel that would be a tremendous loss. Backbreaking as it was, I enjoyed today. I'm quite happy right now. And it's due entirely to your crest. Uh, I suppose so when you put it that way. But I... It's a huge breakthrough to know that your crest causes happiness instead of bad luck. I'd love to study it thoroughly, but only if you'd agree. Really, I just want to find a way for your crest to bring you happiness too. I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to decline. I understand. May I ask one more thing, though? Could you please hand me one of those vegetables? I don't think that's a good idea, but if you insist. Thank you, Marianne. I think this looks like a very lucky vegetable. That was actually kind of charming. Mm-hmm. Although I do feel like it's backhanded when it says, you know what, I enjoyed our time and I love and I loved the interaction, but not because of you or the person you are, because you're crest. Yeah. <laughs> Linhart, you give a little, you take a little. I feel like that's uh No 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 no. We give an inch and you take a mile. Yeah. <laughs> that's more apropos. But yeah guys, I feel like that's gonna end our our, our episode um here. We, we've got our mission, we've got a slight direction in where we want to go regarding our characters, regarding ourselves and our route. However though, before we end things off, and this is one of the most subtlest and the most smallest points in the game that I love regarding tone and just design. For those of you who don't know, or didn't see last episode, last episode we had to say goodbye to Sophus. She is no longer around, at least as a second person. And as throughout this series, we've shown that in this holy, holy tomb, she is there. Asleep, but you know, still with us. So what happens when you go back when she had to say goodbye? The other bioleth which in which in which you didn't choose is there waiting. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And another thing I love is once we've collected the goods and you know, enjoyed everything. Have a talk. She says nothing. <laughs> because that's us. And one of the things I love is that the song cur currently playing right now is called The Lonely Figure. Mm-hmm. It really hits kind of home when it all sinks in that, yeah, in this situation, you really are kind of alone here. Mm-hmm. Especially when you look out to uh, the, uh, the environment and so vast, so big and... Just, just you. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. It's a small little detail, but I feel like it adds so, so much. <laughs> so? Fellow sister back there. <laughs> uh -huh. 
It's me, myself, and I, almost. <laughs> but yeah, guys, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this. Mm, not, uh, not really a not really progressive video, but just talking about, you know, the game up to this point, our plans for the future, as well as the here and now. I feel like that's where we we need to go before we make any like big decisions. Mm -hmm. And trust me, we've got a big decision waiting for us at the end of the month. But until then guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please do give it a like. We always appreciate your time. And hey, if you want to talk, talk about your feels, your emotions on this part of the video or this part of the series or game or whatever, please do write down in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. But until then, guys, see you all next time. And again, thank you all for watching. It's gonna be hard being just us now. Mm -hmm.